Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Gotta sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the white whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. From the look of things, pretty soon Ciri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. 
simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. The entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yatta Ligon! nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities? <laughs> Very funny. Someone was literally just here. Avalax 
Avalok's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalok to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalach never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Hmm. Elves sure know their fragrances. Someone's there. Beyond the door. How did you get in here? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tin Aliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? to spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. 
It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a... personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. Better? Let's get out of here. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten, I met a young man, Skjall, and I'd like... What is it? Siri, Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. 
Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjell has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Ugh. Bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Aye. None will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... I can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. 